Nate chino te mchiri ya kwa. Kato onda taya gara kwa mtu ba jemu. Taya gara kwa jemu. And devil understood that. Ira stani ya chimani yicho. So devil went after the woman. Ira stani na agende ili omuchara. Na agabuzo mkazi. Why are you not eating of this one? The woman said, God told us, don't eat of it. If you eat of it, you will die. The devil said, ha, 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 because that is the food devil ate. Because when God said you will die, may not be physical death. What that what God meant, you become irredeemable. You cannot be redeemed again. You become like devil. So the devil wanted to give the authority. Why are you eating the fruit? Why are you eating the fruit? So if man had eaten the fruit, he would have become like them. So the woman ate the fruit. The devil said, "Have you died?" Ah, stand up and go off. The devil said, "Okay, wait for one more day." Ah, no, we are going to die. After one day, we are going to die. Have you died? Now we are going to die. After two days, 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 we are going to die. After three days, have you died? Oh, food day. The woman said no. And the woman realized that the man who had eaten the fruit of the tree of life and was still behaving like God. And the woman said no. And the woman realized that the man who had eaten the fruit of the tree of life and was still behaving like God. And the woman said no. And the woman realized that the man who had eaten the fruit of the tree of life and was still behaving like God. And the woman said no. And the woman realized that the man who had eaten the fruit of the tree of life and was still behaving like God. And the woman said no. And the woman realized that the man who had eaten the fruit of the tree of life and was still behaving like God. Namu gamba ndi de kuchine chiba na nata sisi vude. Chiba sisi kiza tu wauli ya katonda uruji. Ndi ya kuchine chiba. Amaso kuga ge na kuguka. God did not show up. Katonda teyaja. When the woman ate the fruit. Nga o o mo o mo cha ndi de kuchiba. It was the revelation. Rakubango kubiri kuri. Was not with the woman. The kuari na mo cha. The revelation. O kubiri kuri wa. Was with the man. Kuari na mo cha. So God did not show up. Katonda teyaja. The first day maybe. Maybe it took weeks. Or maybe a wider week. God did not show up. God did not count it as a sin. Because the revelation was upon the woman. There was a man with the revelation. Who would have spoken life to the woman? There was a man with the revelation. Who heard from God? Who heard from God? Oh, my dear, I ain't getting better. That's why I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. That's why I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Adam, Adam. Where are you? 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 A chusa o kusibu wako. God never speaks to you. Katunda tayo kila na wewe. Remind you that you are mortal. No kuhudu kizani na orimotemo. When God spoke to Moses, Katunda wewe kila na Moses. He did not say Moses you are mortal. Te agama Moses anti orimotemo. When God speaks to you, Katunda wewe yuko kila na wewe. He changes your life. A chuso o vula mwe. When God spoke to them, Katunda na yuko kila na wewe. He changes his life. Na chuso vula mwe. Man a chuso himself. Katu omo du. God said who told you? Na mumuza ania kugambi. That's how he got the authority. That's 
Because they will not deny. If men are taking responsibility, men did not plan the woman. The woman did not plan the devil. God did not deny himself. The devil did not deny himself. Now they stand it again. Took authority. Now fun of women. A man and woman. Oh, Musa, you are just out of the garden. The presence of God. Where they dwell. So Jesus came to restore the authority. So Jesus is not going to die for sinners. He came to reconcile us with God. Because God gave us a precious gift. And we gave it to the devil. And we gave it to the devil. So when Jesus asked him, Christ will hear you. We will move on. Jesus will tell them, please do not say I'm the messiah. Now we come back. At the moment, man, Zemo no knows. When they wanted to kill him, they asked him. We will hear that Oku Musa. Are you the messiah? We will move on. At the moment, Zemo no knows. He didn't say. Now, 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 he has seen the cattle. He has heard them. They asked him. He didn't say. We will move on. At the moment, Oku Musa. Because Jesus knew. We have Christ to hear him. The authority was still with the devil. Until no Oku Yinza wari which are in the stand. And because Jesus came in the form of man. We have heard that Jira Mumbala is a man. To deliver man. Oku no knows about him. Begin the process of reconciliation. He tried to behave like a man. He told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called me messiah. And you told the judge. By your mouth, you called Jesus. That the word of the Lord may come to pass. The moment Jesus died, now the Christ we are found. Jesus rose. Now I'm going to carry on. Jesus never denied himself again. Jesus said, "Yagamba." And he will use the authority to walk against you. Because he lacks the power. The power he has is like a policeman without the warrant of arrest. Even though he has a gun, ask him where is the warrant. You have a warrant. You have a warrant. You have a warrant. You have a warrant. But when he shows you warrant, he has authority. So the devil has gone. So he has gone like a policeman. So he has gone like a policeman. 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 So I go the same mood of good is at ease. He has gone like a cutter. Show me the warrant. No mukamba and the warrant. It's in the case you want to go. The warrant has been taken away from you. The warrant is about to be taken away. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask you, Christ. Stop seeking for validation. I need that. Don't don't know you're going to kill yourself. Go and run to. I will share this testimony before I pray. Nja nja kugawa na ubu no bujuri zinga sina. As a young man, I started ministry at a very young age. Natani kubwele zanga ndi mufuku kamuto. When I was in secondary school. Nanja ali mu secondary. Some decades back. Miaka minje mawega. I had a very good friend. He has. We are calling him prophet. Na ina mkuano kwa ngi ngatumu ita na bi. As a young man. Nga nga munga mu. We are classmates. Etu ali mu chibi na chichem. And he named me apostle. Na bita apostle. So we so much love ourselves. And during break time, school break time. Nga mu era mu chisera cha break out. In junior school. Munga tu chali mu kusomo kwa. Go to his house to pray. Pardon. We go to his house to pray. Nga tu ge na netu sawa. And I love him so much. And. I love him so much. He speaks English so good. He has a prophetic gift. And he can fast very well. Then, I was afraid of fasting. 
Because I was so poor. I was so poor. So I hardly could eat. So how can I fast? When I could hardly eat. But it was the grace that sustained me. Then I did everything without fasting. And my friend told me one day that he wants us to fast for three days. I asked him six to twelve. He said no. He said no. no food. I thought he was sick. Three days. Teenagers. He told me he has done seven days no food. I said, God forbid. You can do it. If I can't stay without food, I die. Because my school, from my house to my school, is like 60 kilometers. And I would trek to home. That's how poor I was. After school, it became a, it became a tradition. Under the scorching sun. After school, you spend three hours to go home. As I was walking, as I was walking, I was speaking in tongues. I was praying. I was so happy. Even though I was poor. So I told him, how can I go? How can I go back home? I fasted for three days. I told him no. I can't do it. He said okay. Yeah, he needed a prayer partner. He was going to fast. And he should volunteer to pray with him. I said of course that I will do. So during the lunch break, we went to his house. Went to his house. Went to the school. To pray. And as we were praying, the Spirit of the Lord came upon me. That was a pastor. And I began to prophesy. And I told him, the Lord just spoke to me. Is your elder brother going to travel? He said, yes. I said, let him stop. I said, what is he going to travel? He said, tonight. He's taking a night bus. I said, please let him stop. Let him not travel tonight. Let him not travel tomorrow. And his brother was a pastor. He asked, What are you talking about? I said, I saw your brother dead. He was shot dead. As we were praying, and I saw it. It wasn't an accident. Some men just came in. And he recognized the face. And they shot him. Because he recognized. In, as we were praying, the Lord took me away from here. And he took me to the highway. And I saw him. And I said, Please let him not travel. I said, Let him not travel. He was the prophet. I was just the apostle. I As a little boy, we believed. That God could only speak to prophets. But because he has known me, he said he will talk to his brother. And as we were talking, his brother came in. His brother loved me so much. But he has stories about me. How I preached the gospel. How I preached the gospel. So the brother told him, "Tell me about the prophet that God just ministered to me." And the God told me to tell him not to travel. And the God began to question me. And the God began to question me. And the God began to question me. I knew nothing about prophecy. I was just a vessel. I had it God speak to me. I was told it was God that spoke to me. Was it like the television? Did you hear God talk to you? I was just a little boy. In junior school. And he was a big man. And in Africa we are taught to respect Africa, but we can't afford to pay for his business. So why could God speak to me and not him? The pastor before I was born. Yeah, the pastor. 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 The pastor.
He became mad and angry. Na and his brother was coming him down. And he told me, are you fasting with him? Why must it be you? He said, why are you a bazillion? I was apologizing. He so said, maybe it wasn't God. Now he began to teach me. He says, there are voices that sounds like God. But they are not God. He said, Moses, uh, 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 Samuel, Samuel had voices. He went to Eli. He says, next time when you hear, talk to elders like that. I said, thank you, sir. And we finished. And that almost cost my relationship. So, so, so the next day we came to school. My friend said we we'll go to pray. I told him why. He said, brother, not home. He said, no, he's he he not home that night. He told me, I'm going to go to bed. He told me, he left at night. They've not heard from him. He left at night. They've not heard from him. He's expecting him to call any time. So, thank God everything was fine. Then, the next day, we were at school. And I told him, I'm going to go to bed. He said, no, you need to come to bed. As soon as the pastor came home, I said to him, I didn't want to come to school. And you know your friend will always come to pray. So I came to bed. I have a news. Not so good news. Why is he not coming to church? 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 Police and they informed us. Our brother was traveling to Lagos. At night, their boss was attacked. By armed robbers. And the robbers robbed. And the robbers were about to leave. 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 Your brother looked up. And he recognized one of the robbers. The robber, one of the robbers was his friend. So he killed him on the spot. Because he recognized him. And he died. And when they looked at me, they saw me and they laughed. And they said, why? I said, why? How? But yeah. The news went wide. So God is talking to me. And he said, why? 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 Because it was God that spoke to me. Then they tried to make me feel bad. Are you sure it was God that spoke to you? Who was that? I forgot to speak. And I was just a poor boy. I had no money to go back home. I tripped home. I was a symbol of poverty. When you looked at me, you don't need to defend poverty. It's all about me. So how can you believe such persons? To manifest such gifts. But God can use anybody. Then after a few days, I went to school. My parents died. This became so bad. My friend told me a story. Then I told him the story about his sister. My friend told me a story about his sister. They told him how God used me. Then 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 they told him how God used me. Landlord was about to drive us out of the house. We need to pay rent. Failure to pay rent. We will be kicked out of the house. I begged my friend. Because he took over his brother's business. He didn't have that kind of money. He didn't have that kind of money. He was still taking care of himself. So he connected me. So I can use your gift. Use the anointing. You know, by tradition, when you go to church and you preach, they will give you a prophet's offering. So you say, go. They will give you a prophet's offering. That would be enough. But there was a problem. They have been married for so many years. The man and the woman, the pastor and the wife, no child. So my friend told me, pray. If God uses you to speak to 
to death. Your life has changed. I said, okay. I will go. And I was going for the money. Not for the salvation. I was, I was desperate. Not to be kicked out of the house. Not to be kicked out of the house. For the first time I saw the anger of God. I wanted to sell the anointing. I wanted to sell the anointing. 